Good morning everyone and welcome to another working week vlog. Um, I'd said on the last podcast that I would do a week in October leading up to Glasgow School of Yarn, which is a yarn festival that I'm vending at this coming weekend. Um, so here we are. It is Monday the 18th of October and this is the start of my working week. Um, today is, um, well this week is the second week of the October school holidays here in Scotland. So my boys are both off school. Um, which is great fun with a yarn show to prep for, but oh well, we'll get through. Um, and um, yeah, I've got quite a bit to do this week, but not horrendous amounts, hopefully. Um, although if you add in the fact that I need to try and get all the advents packed in the process of also prepping everything I want to do for Glasgow, then maybe by the end of the week, I'll change my mind and it will be horrendous. We'll see. Um, last week we were on holiday. And um, I had said that I was going to do a little vlogger days kind of video and I started that and sort of to midweek I recorded quite nicely and then the boys gave me a cold. I don't know if you can hear, I'm still a little bit congested. I feel fine now but um, I just, it all goes to my sinuses. I had a sinus infection when I was in my early 20s and um, ever since then, whenever I get a cold, it just goes straight to my sinuses and it's horrible. Um... But yeah, just one of those things, isn't it? I feel fine and I'm back to normal energy levels. I just sound a bit gunky. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, I got a cold. And then um, although I was still well enough to kind of carry on with the holiday and do all, of our, do all of our activities and everything like that, I just didn't quite pick the camera up. And it was all just going to be kind of footage of views set to music and not really any of me talking. So... What I think I'm going to do is at the end of each of these vlogs during this week, I will put a little bit of a snippet of different days of our holiday. Um, and that can just be our little kind of outro, if you like, for the end of each of the daily vlogs. Because I did get some gorgeous footage from the Lake District and it would be a shame not to share the beautiful views, um, especially for those of you who've never been to the Lake District before and don't know how absolutely stunning it is. Um, so working week, what have I got to do? So today I'm dyeing some self-striping. I've got the last six skeins of self-striping to get dyed today. I should have done them um, before the holiday, but I ran out of time. So um, I need to do them today. Um, and then this afternoon, I'm hoping to get a little bit more dyeing done. Um, I've got, luckily, because Perth was only a month ago, I've actually got quite a lot of stock left over from Perth, um, which I can have on my store for Glasgow. Um, but I do want to, there's a couple of new colourways I want to dye up and I want to restock a couple of things that sold really well. So I've kind of got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday scheduled for that. My hope is that all of the dyeing will be done on Wednesday, which means that by um, Friday morning, everything will be dry and hopefully I can just get it skeined and labelled on Friday. Um, I don't have to travel very far. far. Um, obviously, Glasgow is about an hour and a half's drive from Dundee, so not too bad at all. So I don't need to leave until I'm leaving about half past three, something like that on the Friday. We don't actually set up until the Saturday morning for Glasgow. Um, but I am staying in a hotel all weekend with my lovely friend, Jem, who is also vending. Jem is the um, maker and dyer and everything behind the little grey girl. Um, so we're staying on the Friday night as well because, yeah, child free weekend would be lovely. Um, so, yeah, so I've got most of Friday as a work day as well in order to get all the labelling and packing and everything like that done, which will be good. Um, yeah, so that's my working week, really. Um, most of what I'm doing this week, I will be able to actually show you in colour, which will be a novelty for these vlogs. Um, I am going to be packing advents, which I won't be able to share in colour, but all of the dyeing that I'm doing you will actually be able to see because none of it is secret for a change. Right, before I just ramble on for this whole vlog continually all day, um, I should probably go and get bits and pieces ready for dyeing and self-striping.
they shimmer on our skin still plugging away on the stripes um, we just had to make an emergency run to the co-op because um, I ran out of cling film which is um, what I use when I steam my stripes my um, steamers are very old and got water dripping down my arm now my steamers are very old and very rusty um, but they still work perfectly fine so I don't really want to replace them but I just um, line my stripes with um, cling film to stop the rust and everything transferring to the stripes and to keep everything clean and stop the colours from spreading and all of that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I was just halfway through the final batch when I ran out of cling film. So we have made a quick panic trip to the show up to the show. Oh, there. A quick panic trip to the co-op, that's surprisingly hard to say, um, to get some cling film. Luckily, um, there's a co-op only two minute walk up the road, really, really close. Um, I did have to bribe the boys with sweets in order to convince them to get dressed to come with me. Um, but the sweets do the job, don't they? Anyway, I'm going to finish off this batch and then I need to get some yarn in to soak for the colors that I need to dye this afternoon. Hand in hand, building castles out of sand, reaching for the ground. day going <laughs> I have bored children and lots of work to do um it is raining here it is miserable um and the boys are stuck at home and they are bored of tv they are bored of computer games they are now playing upstairs and I daren't go up and look at the state of Jasper's bedroom because I'm pretty sure that it's going to be a bomb site and I will probably be the one that has to clean it up later um, but oh well, I'm making myself a quick cup of tea because I'm tired today. Um, holiday took it out of me along with colds and all of that kind of thing from last week. But I'm getting there. Um, Self-striping, as I said earlier, is all done. Um, and I've just turned off the pans for the other batch of yarn I wanted to do today. So I am at this point of the day where I can sit and I can... Um, Label advents while I watch a little bit of Netflix and while the kids run riot. 
um but they're all right they're all right they're... in fact sometimes it's good when they're bored isn't it because they find ways to entertain themselves so actually they've turned off their technology now because they've got bored of it so they are now entertaining themselves quite how they're entertaining themselves i'm not sure i might sneak up and see their dinner um, and I am sorting out dinner for Tom and I. It's really dark in here because I'm struggling to find ways to film in the kitchen um, at this time of year without the overhead LED light thingies causing bright glaring refraction things um, from the camera. So I've turned them off for a moment but that's why it looks so dark in here. I'm not actually in the kitchen in the dark. Um, Tom and I are having smoked chipotle chicken with black beans feta and lime this is what we're having tonight um this is from one of our roasting tin books i've talked about these books before in the vlogs i absolutely love them um this one is the roasting tin around the world um they are amazing kind of one pot stick them all in a pan stick them all in the oven um really simple meals but really tasty and really nice um, so yeah, we're having that tonight, but I thought I'd get it all ready so that it takes about an hour in the oven. Um, but I thought I'd get it all ready and then I can just stick it in and we can eat once Jasper's gone to bed, but before Arthur goes to bed, which works quite nicely for us at the moment. But yeah, um, I've got D&D &D tonight, I think, with my crafty dragons, so that will be fun. Um, I'm hoping to get a few more advent minis labelled while I'm doing D&D &D. so um, hopefully it's not a too com too much of a complicated session so I can do that um, but that's probably about it for today I'm gonna leave you there'll probably be a few little bits of footage and then I will finish it off get with some um, views basically um, from our holiday last week um, as I said I would so I will see you all again tomorrow <laughs>